this. This is what I've been waiting for for quite some time now. Hi guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to my channel. After checking out a bunch of new Logitech peripherals, feel free to watch them on my channel later on or click on the link in the right top corner of this video. Today I'm, well, taking a look at another one, their new addition to their gaming mice portfolio, the G604. One of my favorite wireless gaming mouse of all time, with at least in my case tendency to lean towards the productivity side of things every so often, is definitely the G602 model and this is basically its new successor. I actually still have it up and running, using it on my test rig. Well, maybe not right now because currently it's in pieces because I'm in the process of revitalizing it. Yeah, that's the word. With that said, I got really excited when I saw that Logitech is releasing the new G604 model as a successor to this model, which is why I wanted to check it out as soon as I could so I can see in which direction they went for with this new generation. Since I got it a bit later after the official launch, I gave myself a few weeks of testing period before I went on and did my review of it, so I can get all nitty and gritty about it. Taking a closer look at it, there are a bunch of similarities which are translated to the G604 from the G602, while also bringing in some of the design cues from their current generation gaming mouse models. The first thing that caught my attention is this familiar front-to-back aggressive sloping shape, which is almost like a signature move of the G602. Although it looks to be pretty steep, it's not like that when you finally grab it, it's more of a perceived visual thing. Speaking of grabbing it... In terms of the ergonomics and how it feels in hand, everything is pretty much comparable to its predecessor. We have a big resting area for your thumb on the left side, which looks to be a bit smaller and steeper than before, while on the right side there's a small indent portion for your ring finger. Overall, everything is still to my personal preferences when it comes to fit and feel, I really didn't have any complaints throughout my few weeks of using it. Obviously this isn't an ambidextrous mouse, since it has this specific shape and form, so it's only reserved for the right-handed users. As for the overall aesthetics and its visual appeal, it still uses rubberized surface and with the G604 it wraps around from left side to right side, crossing the top portion of it also, so it basically covers those areas where your palm leans on the most. Although with the G602 it would start to wear off after some time, but it looks like this time Logitech used a bit more durable type of rubber, which hopefully won't get that greasy shine and that thin sleek worn out look. On the other hand, I must admit that I do miss some of those contrasty details which the G602 has, as the G604 is now completely blacked out and sort of loses that design cues and distinct shapes and lines because of that color uniformity, so it does look a bit dull and unexciting, especially since Logitech decided not to put any RGB LED highlights on it, just this small LED for connection status. Yes, it does look more slick this way and I don't mind it at all, but still, when you compare it to its predecessor, I feel like it's missing something. The glossy part around the dark silver scroll wheel, together with it, bring that up a bit, although by just a tad, plus I'm not that big of a fan of glossy surface, especially here where you will most likely scratch it with your nails. Taking a closer look at the switches on the side, we still have a total of 6 fully programmable G-switches, which now have a bit of a different shape and layout to it. With the G602 it was a bit difficult to fill the right switch and altogether I must admit that the situation with the G604 isn't improved by a lot, but it is a bit better in terms of trying to differentiate them between each other thanks to these weirdly looking switches with protruding tips. Up here you will also probably notice that we are missing out on that LED battery indicator, which was also the DPI level indicator, which actually on my original G602 stopped working after a few years. I assume Logitech ditched that since you can check up on the battery level in their software utility, but nevertheless it would still be cool to have it, while that LED indicator light on the top, which I mentioned earlier, also indicates the DPI level with different colors. Getting to the top portion of the mouse, of course we are greeted by the main left and right click, as well as two switches on the left mouse click, integrated into the left edge of it, for changing the DPI levels on the fly. Here is where resemblances with its older brother sort of taper off. The switch between the performance and endurance mode is gone, and is replaced with a switch with which you can toggle between the wireless and Bluetooth connection, which is a newly added feature for this mouse. 
In a way that's also switched between performance and endurance mode for the G604, since with the Bluetooth connection you can expect much lower power consumption compared to the regular 2.4 GHz wireless connection. Just above it you can see another switch and this one is for enabling the hyper fast scrolling feature of the metal scroll wheel which also makes its first appearance in this generation. We also have the right and left scroll option which too is a new feature and always appreciated especially in a more productivity oriented gaming mouse. All switches are overall pretty firm and stable, with each of them having a bit different travel distance, while the main left and right click use Omron switches, they feel very direct and precise. The scroll wheel is surprisingly super rattly and loud, rough would be the best term to describe it. I'm hoping Logitech will soon use their max speed electromagnetic scrolling technology on their gaming mice also, which I've seen on their MX Master 3 model and which I've recently reviewed. Feel free to check that video out at the link in the right top corner. Here is how this scroll wheel and all of those switches sound in action. Turning the mouse onto its back, I really like how they went with this sloping surface which sort of like overflows on each side, it looks kinda cool. In order to keep everything in level, they did have to raise up the platforms which carry the teflon pads, it sort of looks like the mouse has heels in a way. Besides Logitech's Hero 16000 DPI optical sensor, which is their go-to component when it comes to gaming mouse, you just can't go wrong with it in terms of the performance it offers, we have an on and off switch. And you've probably noticed that there's no ports for charging the mouse up or any doors for the battery. So where is it hiding? I really hope they didn't put an integrated one. That would be... Ugh. Oh, here it is. I apologize for my terrible acting, but yes, the G604 have the possibility of putting an AA battery in it, and this time it's located on the top back portion of the mouse, where you just pull off this magnet cover off of it. Here you will also find a spot for tucking in that wireless dongle, in case you need it on the go. Unfortunately, as you've probably noticed, you'll be able to put only one AA battery as opposed to two in the G602. Not great, not terrible. As I mentioned, it does support two types of connections, Logitech's 2.4 GHz wireless light speed connection and Bluetooth connection. Since it doesn't have any RGB LED lighting around it, its battery only powers the core necessities for the mouse to work, so the single charge can last a pretty substantial 250 hours on the regular wireless connection, which I can confirm firsthand, even longer than that since I've used a high capacity rechargeable AA battery, while on the Bluetooth connection that's closer to 6 months of battery life. When it comes to the performance, the sensor itself is maybe a bit too much if you consider where this mouse is intended to use, mostly for MOBA and MMO games. Nevertheless, it's still great to have it on your disposal as it provides high-end and multiple times proven tracking capabilities. You can of course feel that extra weight which the mouse carries, especially when you try to compare it with ultralight models out there. While I thought that it would be pretty awkward and top heavy, being a bit raised up from the surface, but it wasn't, no problems there whatsoever. Once again, everything is controlled over Logitech's G-Hub software utility. We have a total of 15 programmable switches which can be individually addressed and remapped with different commands, action, macros and so on. You can basically do whatever you want in terms of how specific do you want to get with your control. You can also attach different actions to multiple profiles depending on the application or game you're currently using. Besides that, in terms of the optical sensor control, you can set up different DPI levels and change the report rate. So all in all, pretty much your standard feature offering when it comes to a gaming mouse from Logitech G series. When you sum it up, the new G604 sort of feels like an homage of its older brother and it basically is a very worthy one might I add, since there is always a lot at stake when you try to do something which takes notes from a legend.
Although there's always room for improvement, in its core it still has that recognizable features of its older brother. I was actually pleasantly surprised with its $99 price tag, which is now probably even lower as it's been a while since it launched, especially now around this time of the year, which is really not that bad when you consider what you get in return. That's it for this time from me, thank you once again for watching, toss me a thumbs up if you enjoy my content, that really helps a lot, and if you like what you saw, feel free to subscribe and if you already are, be sure to press that notification bell down below so you don't miss out on a new video. And until then, catch you later, guys. The battery you are, not the current be in you, not the force be in you, not the current force, force and current.